Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by The Union Bank Company, committed to you. And by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai. The home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. Well, welcome back, everyone. We're entering our second game between Patrick Henry and Columbus Grove. We just wrapped up a tough one, and you could say, yes, the struggle was real for uh, Crestview. They came away with 10 points. Delphus Jefferson will be moving on with 65 points. They'll take on the winner of this game now between Patrick Henry and Columbus Grove. All right, we're going to introduce you to our players joining us from Patrick Henry. We have Andrew Neese. Nice. Leah Johns, Neil Jakeway, and Nicholas Bosselman. And Patrick Henry is coached by Rick Fricky. Welcome to all of you. All right, moving over to Columbus Grove now. We have Lauren Roos, Madeline Flores, Autumn Thompson, and Nathan Manley. And Columbus Grove is coached by Nancy Shortgen. All right, we have two rounds of this competition before we take a break. Our first round, 10 questions, we're 10 points apiece. Everybody get the buzzers ready. Make sure when you answer that your answers are loud so that our judge can hear, all right? And make sure they're as um, clear as possible and um, with as many details truly as you can give us with the names, okay? All right, here we go, question number one. What famous football player had the name Orenthal James? All right, time is up. The answer is O.J. Simpson. Number two, give the ballet term for a 360 degree turn on one foot. Columbus Grove. Pirouette. Pirouette is the answer. Who wrote The Tale of Peter Rabbit? Time is up. The answer is Beatrix Potter. All right, question number four. Scott Hamilton won Olympic gold on what surface? Yes, Columbus Grove. Ice. Ice is the answer. Who was the youngest man to chair the Joint Chiefs of Staff? The answer is Colin Powell. All right, question number six. What playwright wrote Cat on a Hot Tin Roof? Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Tennessee Williams. Tennessee Williams is correct. What Russian cleric was killed on December 30th of 1916? Yes, Patrick Henry. Uh, Rasputin. Rasputin is correct. Which buzz appeared in Toy Story? Yes, Columbus Grove. Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear is correct. All right, two questions remaining in this round. What M word defines anything that occupies space? Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Mass. Mass is incorrect. Columbus Grove, you want to try it? Yes. Matter. Matter is the answer. All right, last question in your first round. What stringed instrument has a pedestal and a crown? Yes, Columbus Grove. A harp. Harp is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of our first round between Columbus Grove and Patrick Henry. Here's the score. Columbus Grove with 50 points, Patrick Henry with 20. That means Columbus Grove, you lead this next round. You will have five questions worth five points apiece. They're all yours, but I would still appreciate if you would buzz in with your answer, okay? All right. On what island, U.S. island, is the National Museum of M Immigrants? Yes. Staten Island? Staten Island is incorrect. The answer is Ellis Island. 
Which great lake borders Michigan, Wisconsin, and Minnesota? Yes. Lake Superior. You are correct, Lake Superior. Give the female name of the 3.5 million year old skull found in 2001. Her name was Lucy. All right, two questions remaining in this round. Identify the English scientist that discovered in 1666 that white light is made up of many colors. Time is up. The answer is Sir Isaac Newton. And your last question in this, sec in this second round. What knight of the round table killed King Arthur? Yes. Lancelot. Lancelot is incorrect. The answer is Madrid. All right, turning over to Patrick Henry for your five questions. Everybody ready here? All right, what is the sum of the squares of five and 10? Yes. 125. 125 is the correct answer. Who hit 61 home runs in 1961? Yes. Oh, Mickey Mantle. That is incorrect. The answer is Roger Maris. What French explorer founded the city of Quebec? Yes. Uh, Champlain. Champlain is correct. All right. Which island is the largest in the Caribbean? Yes. Cuba. Cuba is correct. And your final question in round two. Who did George W. Bush choose as his running mate? Yes. Cheney. We will take Dick that. Yep. yep, Dick Cheney is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of rounds one and two. Here's a score, it's a close one. Columbus Grove with 55 points, Patrick Henry with 40. We'll be back to wrap up the game right after the break. Don't go away. <laughs> <laughs>